Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today, we're diving into a story that's equal parts epic, tragic, and absolutely mind-blowing. It's the kind of tale that makes you question if it's real or just something out of a blockbuster war movie. And no, this isn't Top Gun Kremlin edition. This is the Sukhoi Su-57, Russia's long-promised fifth-generation stealth fighter, the jet that was supposed to scare the West, humiliate the F-22, and prove that Moscow could build a true air dominance machine. Instead, it became a 20-year saga of delays, redesigns, and so many compromises that even its own pilots probably whisper, is this thing actually stealth? Here's a jet. To understand the Su-57, go back to 2002. Russia was broke, its Air Force flying ancient MiG-29s and Su-27s, and the US was rolling out the F-22 Raptor like it owned the sky. So Moscow said, we need our own fifth gen fighter. Development started in 2002, first flight in 2010. But here's the kicker. The original prototype, it had no stealth coating, round engine nozzles, and giant radar seams. Basically, it was a Su-27 with a new paint job. Then came sanctions, Ukraine war, engine suppliers cut off, and suddenly Russia had to build everything from scratch, including a new engine, the Izdelia 30. So they did what any desperate engineer would do. They Frankenstein the Su-57 with older AL-41 F1 engines, which are not designed for supercruise or stealth. And yet, it flies. Barely. Here's the awkward truth. The Su-57 has been in service since 2020, but has almost zero combat record. A few sorties in Syria, sure, but no dogfights, no air-to-air -air kills, nothing. And production? Painfully slow. Only 12 operational units as of 2024. Why? Cost, sanctions, engine shortages, and the fact that Russia still relies on older Su-35s and MiG-35s for real missions. But export? That's where things get spicy. India dropped out of the joint program in 2018, calling the Su-57 not worth the investment. Ouch. Now Russia's trying to sell it to China, Algeria, and even Iran. But let's be real. If China's building its own stealth jet, the J-20, why buy a half-baked Russian one? Look, the Su-57 isn't the stealth monster Russia promised. It's slower to adopt, less stealthy, and way more glitchy than the F-35. But calling it a failure might be missing the point. Because here's what it is, a testbed for future tech. It's AI-driven sensor fusion, drone control, and hypersonic integration. So what's the legacy of the Su-57? It's not a flawless stealth killer. It's not even close to the F-22. But it is a symbol of ambition, of survival, and of a country trying to punch above its weight with whatever tools it can scavenge, redesign, or just make up as it goes. It's proof that you don't need perfection to be dangerous. Sometimes you just need a really good idea and the guts to fly it. Even when the engine's on fire, the radar is glitching, and the stealth coating is peeling off at Mach 1.8. This jet isn't just metal and software. It's a statement. We're still in the game. And that, in itself, is worth understanding. Now. I need to get real with you all for a second. This channel, Military Forces Unleashed, exists because of people like you. I spend weeks researching, cross-checking every spec, every delay, every design flaw, just to bring you content that actually matters. No clickbait, no hype, just truth, depth, and respect for your curiosity. But lately, the YouTube algorithm hasn't been kind. Views have dropped. The platform isn't showing our videos like it used to, even to people who've subscribed. So if you're still here, watching to the end, thank you. You're not just viewers. You're the reason this keeps going. 
And if you believe in what we're doing, if you want more deep dives like this one, I'd be incredibly grateful if you could hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with someone who actually cares about military tech, not just memes about drones. Every single action helps. It tells YouTube, hey, this content deserves to be seen. And if you're feeling extra generous, drop a comment. Tell me what you thought of the Su-57. Was it a failure, a stepping stone, a warning sign? I read every single one. Your voice shapes what comes next. Because at the end of the day, this isn't just about jets, tanks, or drones. It's about understanding the machines we build and the people who risk everything to fly them. This is Military Forces Unleashed, where the future of war isn't just about who has the best tech, but who's crazy enough and smart enough to use it first. And seriously, none of this happens without you. Let's keep building this together.